not hyperbole suggests that there is no national treasure, none that is grander than the Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon, one of the Earth's nine wonders, wonders of the world, literally. Think of that. You know, it's amazing. Enduring symbol of America to the entire world. As a matter of fact, I said nine. It's one of the seven wonders of the world. And so today I'm proud to use my authority under the Antiquities Act to protect one, almost one million acres of public land around Grand Canyon National Park as a new national monument. <laughs> to help right the wrongs of the past and conserve this land of ancestral footprints for all future generations. Over the years, hundreds of millions of people have traveled to the Grand Canyon, awed, awed by its ma majesty, but fewer are aware of its full history. From time immemorial, more than a dozen tribal nations have lived, gathered, prayed on these lands. But some 100 years ago, they were forced out. That very act of preserving the Grand Canyon as a national park was used to deny indigenous people full access to their homelands. I made a commitment as president to prioritize respect for the tribal sovereignty and self-determination, to honor the solemn promises the United States made to tribal nations to fulfill federal trust and treaty obligations. I pledge to keep using all that available authority to protect sacred tribal lands. At a time, at a time when some seek to ban books and bury history, we're making it clear that we can't just choose to learn only what we want to know. We should learn everything that's good, bad, and the truth about who we are as a nation. That's what great nations do. And we're the greatest of all nations. Only with truth comes healing and justice. As I signed the proclamation establishing the ancestral footprints of the Grand Canyon National Monument. Thank <laughs> you.